Got another question on the redox titrations topic and as always the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay so we'll make a start so I'll just talk through this little diagram I've made that um, summarizes all of the information. So they've taken a burger mass 525 grams they've extracted the sodium sulfite and they've dissolved it so you can see from the the equation there the ratio of sulfite ions to sodium sulfite is one to one so the sulfite ions are in here now they're made up to 250 in a volumetric flask they take 25 out and add some sulfuric acid to give the H plus ions needed for the redox reaction and then they titrate that with um, potassium manganate 7 that concentration then that was their titra so the first thing we we'll do is work out the moles of manganate 7 ions that have been used in the titration concentration times volume in decimeters cubed 1.26 times 10 to the minus 4 next thing we we'll do is we apply the mole ratio in the supplied redox reaction to get the moles of sulfite ions that are in the um, 25 cm cubed so we multiply by 5 over 2 and we get 3.15 times 10 to the minus 4. Next thing we do is work out the moles of sulfite ions in the volumetric flask, which is a nice easy multiply by 10 because 25 was a tenth of the original solution. So that's 3.15 times 10 to the minus 3. Now just remember where these sulfite ions came from. They came from the extraction of the sulfite ion from the sodium sulfite from the burger. So what we're after is the moles of sodium sulfite. Remember, they're the same as the moles of sulfite ions. So we also know the moles of sodium sulfite in the burger. So to work out the mass of sodium sulfite that's in the burger, we've got to multiply the moles by the MR of sodium sulfite. So we get 0.397 grams. We're going to convert that to milligrams. So multiply by 1,397 milligrams. And then finally, we need to just see if it falls within the legislation value. So the mass of sodium sulfide per kilo is going to be the mass in the burger divided by the mass of the burger times a thousand, obviously a thousand grams in a kilo. So that's coming out at 756 milligrams per kilogram. So it is within legislation because that's less than the 850 milligram per kilo limit.